to destabilize the US dollar. But Trudeau wants in. He wants to be China's wingman. And he's willing to look the other way when it comes to China's disturbing and systematic human rights abuses. You know, like arbitrary detention, labor camps, forced abortions, executing political dissidents, and the alleged practice of harvesting organs from religious minorities while they're still alive. But Trudeau doesn't want to talk about any of that. What he does seem to want to talk about is Norman Bethune. In fact, one of the very first things he did when he arrived in China was present Canada's gift to China, which was a Norman Bethune medallion. Most Canadians have no idea who Norman Bethune is. Norman Bethune was a Canadian surgeon and inventor. He was also a Marxist and a devout communist who became a pawn and a propagandist for the communist cause in China. He moved to China in 1938 to work as a surgeon for the Chinese army. He defected from Canada to join a foreign rebel army. There, he became friendly and began exchanging letters with Mao Zedong, as in Chairman Mao. As in, the guy responsible for more deaths than anyone else in human history. From 1943 to 1976, Mao Zedong and his communist regime killed somewhere between 45 and 75 million people. He enslaved rural people and he purposely caused the Great Chinese Famine. Communism kills and Mao was a ruthless killer. After the Canadian surgeon died in 1939, Mao wrote an essay called In Memory of Norman where he praises Bethune for being a good, devout communist. For decades, all Chinese children have been forced to read this poem in school. And so Bethune is a well-known household name in China. It's all part of the communist propaganda machine. But instead of calling out Mao's evil record or having an honest discussion about the death and devastation caused by communism in China, Canadian dignitaries just sort of play along. We pretend that Bethune actually is a national hero in Canada. In reality, of course, most Canadians have never heard of him. And to be fair to the Liberals, the Conservative played this exact same song and dance when it came to Norman Bethune and the Chinese Communist Party. And I called them out for that back in 2012. It was embarrassing then, and it's still embarrassing now. We shouldn't confuse Bethune's actions with the false legacy created by Mao. Look, no one realistically expected Justin Trudeau to arrive in China and start calling out the Communist regime for its human rights violations. Nobody expected Trudeau to take issue with China's expansion into the South China Sea, taking over islands that belong to the Philippines, or its aggressive attempts to undermine and destabilize the U.S. banking system. But Trudeau, at the very least, could stop pretending to revere a man who abandoned Canada to help a communist regime that committed unspeakable atrocities.